I was just with someone talking about this, and she was a physician, and she said, Steve, you know, we've gone from eight vials of blood when you we take out of you for screening, now down to two, and then soon we're going to be at a speck of you know blood. It was, I was thrilled to hear that because I don't like. Um, needles and and all of that. I but, tell everyone there's but, a really good reason I went to law school, not medical school. Yeah, and that's a yeah huge so part of it. we're on the same page. But I think it's part of this of building it into natural habits, right? Building the whole medical social contract ecosystem around habits. And I'm wondering if you see branding or rebranding opportunities there. I think that's interesting because I think you'd be hard pressed to meet someone that hasn't been touched by Alzheimer's or dementia in some way. Um, I started this journey by telling my story, and then my local newspaper printed it, and my mom said, really, you gotta tell the whole world our problems, and I was like, okay, so we're not telling that story anymore. <laughs> so if there's any media, that was off the record. Um, but you're hard pressed. I mean, I was watching The Real Housewives last night, don't judge me, and The Real Housewives, the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, of which, of Salt which? Lake City okay, had a so full segment about a woman who was a housewife who was caring for her father and had a whole conversation about with her mother about when it was time to